Hello and welcome back. For this example, we're going to go through and find the equation for a tangent line for this graph here. It's an equation. And uh, we're going to do it a little differently. We're going to suppress or not use the of x notation and just remember the rules of calculus very, very carefully. So we're going to take our original equation and we're going to take the derivative with respect to x. And again, our equation, just for reference, is 3 times x squared plus y squared, quantity squared, equals 100, times x squared minus y squared. So again, we are taking the derivative with respect to x. All right, so in doing so, our multiplied constant 3 is going to copy along, and then we have to make sure we follow the chain rule. So that's going to be 2 times our x squared plus y squared, now to the first power, and now we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside. And the derivative of the inside is going to be 2x plus 2y times y prime. On the other side, the multiplied 100 is a constant. We carry it along. Derivative is going to be 2x minus 2y, y prime. So when we multiply all this out, we are going to have... 6 times x squared plus y squared times the quantity 2x plus 2y, y prime is equal to 100 times 2x minus 2y, y prime. And now we need to multiply this out and sort it out so that we can go ahead and isolate our y primes. So we're going to do some multiplication to make this happen. We're going to leave our 6 just times our total final answer. So multiplying, distributing, we're going to have 2x cubed. And then for the outside, we're going to have a 2x squared y, y prime. For the inside, we're going to have a 2xy squared. And then for our last term from the expansion, we're going to have a total of 2y cubed, y prime. And that's going to be 100 times our 2x minus 2y, y prime. All right, next up, we'll just multiply this all out. So we're going to have a 12x cubed plus a 12x squared y, y prime plus a 12xy squared plus a 12y cubed, y prime equals 200x minus 200 y y prime and just like in our previous example we need to isolate our y primes so we're going to have a 12 x squared y y prime plus 12 y cubed y prime already on the left side now being joined by a plus 200 y y prime on the right hand side we still have our 200 x and now we're bringing over our minus 12x cubed. And we have our minus 12xy squared. Next up, factor out those common y primes. So 12x squared y plus 12y cubed plus 200y. All times y prime is equal to 200x minus 12x cubed minus 12xy squared. And finally, divide both sides. We've got our 200x minus 12x cubed minus 12xy squared divided by a 12x squared y plus 12y cubed plus a 200y. And uh, that is the formula for dy dx or y prime. Right, and now we need to evaluate this at the point 4, 2. We can now do a little bit of factoring. So y prime, we can factor out a 2 and an x. These is with 100 minus 6x squared minus 6y squared. Down below, we can factor out a 2, 
and we can factor out a common y. Leaves us with 6x squared plus 6y squared plus 100. And these are not quite opposites, but they're very closely related. We cannot cancel them out. We are going to be required to evaluate at that value of x and y. So we can cancel out the 2s. And when we cancel out the 2s, we now can evaluate our y prime. And we'll use our evaluation notation of our vertical bar. And that's going to be equal to 100. Oh, don't forget we have the x multiplied. So 100 minus 6 times 4 squared minus 6 times 2 squared. And again, that whole thing is times 4. And then down below, we're going to have our 6 times our 4 squared plus 6 times 2 squared plus 100. And that is times the y, which is 2. And we can now go to a calculator. All right, so this works out to be negative 20 times 4 divided by 220 times 2, which reduces down to negative 2 over 11, which is a nice little answer compared to how this could have been with all those large numbers in it. So now we have our point. Uh, writing bold. Let's go back in. We have our point which we know is 4, 2. And we've got our slope, which is negative 2 over 11. So therefore, we're going to have y minus 2 equals negative 2 11 x minus 4. And that is the equation of our tangent line at the point 4, 2. So again, we just go through and we find our derivative using our rules of calculus. In particular, paying very, very close attention to the uh, chain rule and any kind of product rule we may need. And then we just evaluate the derivative at the point and then use the point slope formula from algebra to find our equation of our tangent line.